Welcome back, Horlins to more Runaway 2. Chasing that turtle. No, I see no reason to do something so absurd. How are you, Camille? Très bien, as you can see. Thanks for the vino. It was delicious. What do you mean? It was. You have already drunk the two bottles? Well, it's quite possible, because uh, I don't remember doing it. Oh la la! Well, I'm up, you enjoyed them. Anyway, see you around, Camille. Where'd you go, mamita? You don't work? Hurry up, chiquita. I need my siesta soon. That's the ticket. I better wait for him to finish. Oh, Lord. I am being grassy. And let me say bienvenido to the grassy adventure. Punch this bald guy in the face. your favorite show. Broadcasting from Miami. You sure you started up the recorder, Chiquita? Yes, but of course. Watch your mouth with me, baby. Don't worry. Be happy, Mia. I'm sure you'll do better this time. Dionysio, you are the best. The hottest. The most hey, dancing. Hey, Dean. I bet you could do with a helpful must. teleprompter. How'd you know, amigo? I have a primo memory. But if I had the words written down, I could concentrate better on my acting, you know? Well, let's get to work then. I'm going to prepare an analogical teleprompter for you to watch. Recording. I am Dean Grasic, and let me say bienvenidos to the Grasic Adventure with Dean Grasic, your favorite show. Broadcasting from Miami to the world, baby. You know why? Because I live tons of real adventures every day. You know why, amigo? Because I... Dean Grassic, I am the greatest adventurer in the world. The only one who can lick his own elbow and jump onto his ear -lobes. So now, you can just give your remote control, Dideo, because our adventure is about to begin. Here we go. Roll the video. Um... Cut. What did I tell you, kids? Dean Grassic. He's the biggest of them all. And now, I'm gonna get my lunch. Cause I deserve it. Mmm, here it is. A delicious hard tofu bar with genetically engineered potassium enriched beans. Could you lend me that paper now, Dean? It's all yours, amigo. I finally did it. I'll go take it to Saturn in case he wants to start watching it. But you don't have the rest? Well, I'm still missing a thing or two. Don't worry. When it's all ready, you tell me, I look up the article, and we get down to work. Just one thing, Saturn. What's up with you, BB? What did you tell me to tell Rucker? That he's got so much nerve it won't fit inside his hat? Let's see what he answers to that. I'm going to see what else I can do around here, Saturn. Okay, BB. See you later. Grassy. Here we go.
go. I like riding elevators. No, I'm sure Sushi is a better captain than I. Just one thing, Wrecker. What? I bet you don't know what Saturn just said to me. Some stupid thing of his, I'm sure. He says his hat's off to you, and not to pout. Is he piping down or pulling me leg? Come on, let's test him. Tell him his techno art is so sadly sad, it no be good enough to hang above a toilet. Okay, I'll go tell him right now. Shoot, now what am I supposed to tell Saturn? Better make something up good. According to... Just one thing, Sat. What's up? Rucker just said something lovely about you. Oh, yeah? And what did that Rasta-covered fool tell you? He says he's sad your techno art doesn't get more deserved airtime on TV. Is that so? Well, he's probably just saying it to get something out of me. Screw him. Remind him of what I said the other day. That in order to like reggae, you have to be daffier than a duck and waddle like one, too. Trust me. I'll tell him. <laughs> Let's see how I can tell Rucker that. Here we go. Up and down, up and down. Just one thing, Wrecker. What? I bet you don't know what Saturn just said to me. Some stupid thing of his, I'm sure. He says that when he listens to reggae, he gets so happy that he starts to flap his wings like duck. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to feel sorry for saying only jerks with blue hair go to the Burning Man Festival. Well, you repeat that to him and see what color he turns. Okay, I'll go tell him right now. Shoot, now what am I supposed to tell Saturn? Just one thing, Saturn. What's up with you, BB? Rucker just said something lovely about you. Oh, yeah? And what did that Rasta-covered fool tell you? He says he feels like a wacko for not having gone to the Burning Man Festival with you. Now he realizes? Look, maybe in a few days I'll feel like a fool for saying this, but the, but the Jamaican bobsled team won't win the Olympics, even if it secretly uses doping. Go tell him that! Hey, the day you got mad, did you exchange any other words? Well, I don't know. Why? Nothing. It's just that he's starting to treat me like a punching bag, but don't you worry. We go. Just one thing, Wrecker. What? I bet you don't know. Some stupid thing of his, I'm sure. He says the day Jamaica wins the bobsled medal, he'll buy you an Olympic-sized bong. Saturn said that? No way! In the end, it will turn out he ain't the jerk I thought, but all he's a saying. You ain't making that up now, is ya? Me? Make things up? Lie? <laughs> oh, Wrecker, you just don't know me. 
can't believe my ears. Peace, man. I just think it's strange that bird brain, well, he ain't so bad, is he? You know, as brothers go, he's a good one. What am I saying? He's my best friend. Oh, man, I'm going to give him a makeup gift that's going to knock his dreads off. The helmet? No, but take it if you want. I meant something more personal. To help him with one of his inventions. Don't know, I think of something. Thanks, Wrecker. Well, one more thing done. All right, we got the helmet. Yes, I'll take as many as I need to build an amazing makeshift hose. Well, I think I finally have everything Saturn needs to make the neutrino detector. I'll go tell him so we can get to work ASAP. Come on, start dismantling the helmet while I figure out how this works. Okay. Let's see. Awesome! This is a piece of cake. Hey, BB, you sure that's the right tool? Ready to roll, Saturn. Cool. Come on, BB, bring it on. Tell me when it's full. Will this take much longer? Huh? Dude, it's starting to come out. Cut. Well, I'll just clean up this mess and be on my way. No, it's technically impossible for anything to go wrong, but you better stay back a bit. Now I see why you chose me to talk through the intercom. Well, as they say, que sera sera. Sushi, can you turn off the light? We're starting here. Done. Good luck, boys. Yeah, good luck to everyone. And to me, too. Whoa! Fucking look at them! There are the neutrinos! They're shooting up from down there, to the left! Sushi, fire the engines and set our course to north-northwest. Okay, turn starboard just a few degrees. Look at that thing coming! Stay the course, Sushi. We're headed in the right direction. Drop anchor, Sushi. We're right on top of it. Sorry, Brian. I still can't figure out why he could back out at the last minute. That's the job I hired him for uh, in we'll the first see. place. You see? I told you there was something fishy about Dean. Well, fortunately, Camille has offered to go down and get the Trantonite. No. Tell her not to worry. I'll go. I understand that your endgame is to do this personally, but after what you went through to build the neutrino detector, shouldn't you take some downtime? Negative. The Trantonite is my mission. Plus, there's a couple things we need to discuss. The first is that we are no longer right above the Galleon, so you'll have to swim a bit. Not far, though. The second thing is that before beginning to search for the Trantonite, a 3D scanner should be placed as close as possible to the middle of the Galleon, so that you can provide me with a three-dimensional image I can use to guide whoever goes down. You yourself do not have to be the diver. Come on, give me that contraption. I'll go down right now. Okay, do as you wish. After all, everything is in place. Saturn has installed a shortwave receiver in the diving suit, so you have a comm unit during the underwater ops, and the mini-sub is ready inside the sea lock capsule. It took me a while to find it, because Rutger had taken it and... Well, you'll see. Balaz, regulator, ready. Be careful down there, Brian. 
Vamos que, loco. I bet you'll do it almost as good as me. Wow. Well, thanks for the encouragement, Dean. De nada, brother. Good luck, Brian. Let's go swimming. Amazing title you have come up with for this new Dean Grassic adventure. Blast to the past. Sunken ship to me. Millions invested in a three dimensional scanner were worth it. Well done, Brian. Hop in and we'll decide where to attack. Good work, Brian. Now I have a virtual image of the Orion, and I can view your position the entire time and indicate which bearing you need to take. So, where do I have to go? Well, if you look closely, you'll see that the Orion's figurehead looks like a scorpion. And right next to the stinger on its tail, there is a small sphere. According to Paco's indications in Palenque, that sphere would be illuminated during battles. And I wouldn't be surprised if... I catch your drift. Come on, prepare me for the dive. I'm going back down. Are you sure you don't want to rest first? Guess not. Lichens. Either we get rid of them and the moss, or we'll never get it open. You know what you have to do, right? Clean it. Clean it, Brian. Remove the moss and lichens to see where it opens. You aren't the kind of man who refuses to pick up a cleaning rag, are you? No, but I thought there might be some other way to open it. Whatever, but I think you'll end up having to clean it. All right, Sushi. I'm gonna see what I can come up with. All right, we need to clean the lichens. There's some dirty werewolves. Ah, toolbox. Wasn't there before. No, I already toted one around on Mala Island and it weighed a ton. Maybe there's something inside I can use, though. 
Man! I bet the saw will come in handy. Of course. Who but I could dream up such a cool plan? It's obvious I'm a genius. Here we have it. An actual hog bristle brush. Pocket size and at wholesale price. Well, there is our scrub brush. That's weird. Maybe I typed it in wrong. Uh-oh. I've got the feeling there's something fishy happening here. The bad thing is that thinking of fish is making me hungry. Let's see who answers. Hello? Anyone there? Brian? Is that you? What do you want? Oh, nothing. I'm just trapped inside the cargo hold. And so tell me what told me past when I stick into this contraption on the... Joshua, stop it! Bam! Brian, don't worry. Joshua just ruined the encryption system on the whole yacht and messed up the passwords on all the doors. Stupid four-eye agent. And then go to your cabin, Joshua. Hey, um, we'll chat later, Sushi. Shoot, I wouldn't want to be in Sushi's skin right now. Or in Joshua's, because when Sushi gets angry, she must be. Well, anyway, obviously I can't just wait for her to get me out of here. That's it! That's it. Now that I opened the hatches, I'm sure I can start from the edge of the tank. Scamper up to the ceiling somehow and reach the deck. Come on, let's get out of here. It appears I also opened the hatch to cargo hold too. Holy smokes! Well, that wasn't easy, but at least I made it here. Brian, this is a disaster! What's the matter, Sushi? Look, you really need to have a talk with Joshua. He's like a poltergeist! Now he's deactivated all of my passwords in addition to leaving the hatches on the deck wide open! Oh man, what are we gonna do with old Joshua? I already figured out the password thing, but I'm telling you, my experience is that it is quite unpleasant to enter the cargo hold and find a flock of seabirds looking at you as if you were some huge and yummy fish. Lucky thing, the computer warned me and I was able to close them from here. Otherwise... Don't you worry. As soon as I see him, I'll kick his butt so hard he'll never open another hatch again. For goodness sake. Listen, Sushi. Yes, Brian? How am I supposed to clean the orb on the figurehead? Well, they say the best way to fight tough stains is with pressurized water. Under the water? Very funny, Sushi. Okay, okay. The cleaning rag didn't convince you, did it? I'm going down to the galleon again. That's all right, Brian. Just start prepping and tell me when you're ready. Gonna clean this shit up. Oh, 
under the sea. Is it that hard, Brian? You're not going to tell me the dirt is really stuck to the surface, are you? No luck? No? No! Well, this really sucks, Brian. Someone may have robbed the Trantonite, which would explain why the Interceptor ended up sinking the Orion. Or Malantunia suspected something and put it in a different place. The truth is, I have no idea. Well, let's stay positive and assume it's still on the boat. Where could Malatunias have hidden it? Well, if I were him, I would like to keep it as close as possible. In my stateroom, for instance. Yeah, that's the most logical. Come on, let's prepare for another dive. I'll go down ASAP. Are you sure you don't want to rest a while first? You look exhausted, Brian. Maybe you should get back your strength a bit first, before... I'll have time to rest later. We've got work to do. A lot of back and forth. Try to go in through the middle hole. Let's see. Go down into it as far as you can. Now, move toward the bow. At the end of the hall, you'll find some stairs. Go past them. Now stand facing aft. Do you see a trap door? Go up through it. Roger. You'll reach a passageway with several doors. The one closest to the bow has to be Malintunia's cabin. be too easy, Miss Sushi. Well, of course it sucks, but when the going gets tough, the tough get going. I'll take a stroll around the boat, and I bet I'll come up with an idea to get that door open. Okay, I'll just keep thinking up ideas. And if you see Joshua, tell him enough is enough. What did he do now? What did he do? While you were diving, he made a major mess out of the cargo hold. He found a crowbar and started opening boxes of things, spewing stuff all over the floor. Replacement parts, nails, packaging materials. What nerve! Don't you worry, that guy's gonna get what he deserves. I'm gonna kick that chink's ass! I was afraid of this. Now it turns out somebody has removed the brush holding the door open. Nada. It would have been too easy for someone to come along and repair the door.
On the positive side, the crowbar I need to get into Malatunia's cabin is there. On the negative side, I can't go in and get it, because when I release the button, the door will slam shut, and I don't want to sever off an arm trying to leap in. Let's see how I can think my way out of this one. Done. Let's head on up to the deck. Here we go. What's that banging? I can't believe it. Your boyfriend is messed out, man. With him, if I laugh, I die. What are you talking about? Joshua? What's he doing? I don't know, man. But he took an axe, and he's a-banging at the satellite dishes. And what did that poor antenna do to him? Damn if I know. Everybody got to do what they feel like, man. Joshua, leave that antenna alone. Jeez. No. Right now, I have no reason to stop. You can't fake me. If I take advantage of the fact that the hatches are open, maybe I could get to Cargo Hold 2 from here. Tally ho! Holy smokes! I could leap down there, but there may be a crash landing. The floor is full of metal and nails, and I don't want to end up like Pinhead in Hellraiser. Uh. I'll have to dream up some other way down. Holy smokes! What are you working on, Saturn? Haven't I told you about the electromagnets? They're one of my latest creations, equipped with a device that magnetizes or demagnetizes things at will. When this is finished, I plan to attach them to the mini-sub and take up underwater skiing. Oh, that exists? The question is not whether it exists, BB, but whether we want it to exist. Art and science are based on that grand principle. Saturn, I'm going to borrow your electromagnets for a while, okay? Of course, Beebe. Don't forget to tell me how they work. Nifty. My first pair of electromagnets. Exactly what we need to get down. Up we go. Nah, I don't feel like slipping and st Nah. That is fucking pain in the ass, man. That's not bad. Once I'm up there, I slide down the wall of Cargo Hold 2, snatch the crowbar, and run out.
I don't know whether I can trust Saturn's little inventions, but what choice is there? Down we go! Yes, and now... It's mine! No door will be any match for me with this crowbar. The Transonite awaits me. Going down again. Back to the, the, the galleon. That's it, folks. Stay tuned for Chapter 6. The Hidden Beacon of Avernus.